Welcome to this YouTube channel. Here, once again, we have a risk assessment exercise that we are going to do. So, when we are assessing risk, we look at the impact and the likelihood. So, we're going to select the impact here and the likelihood, and then we get our assessment under D2. And to guide us with what the assessment is going to be, we have a risk criteria matrix. A risk criteria matrix is in this form, it shows the impact here and the likelihood here. And how it works is that if the likelihood is low and the impact is low, where these two meet, the assessment becomes low. Where the mid, when the likelihood is medium, go along that line, and the impact is medium, go along that line, the intersection is medium. So we want to use this risk criteria matrix to populate our assessment here. Of course, here we have, uh, before I go into that, I'll need to put a drop down here, drop down here, and also do some conditional formatting that will help us in this example. So let's get started. Let's first give it nice colors here by doing conditional formatting. So I'll go to the home and say conditional formatting. I'll use text contains and I'm gonna give law a green color like so. Say okay, go back, conditional formatting. And if my text contains medium, I'm going to allocate it a yellow color and say okay, you see how it changes. Then right here, also, I go back to conditional formatting, and if it contains high, then I give it a red color, which means danger, the risk is high. So when we do that, you can see how it looks nicely over here. Maybe I'll also do some conditional formatting for this as well. Do the same thing as before. Text contains, I type here low. If it contains low, give it a green color and say okay. If it contains red or yeah, medium, if it contains medium, I want it to be yellow. And lastly, if it contains the cell contains high, I want it to be given a red color. So when I type here low, you can see I get green. So I've inserted conditional formatting here and here. Now, the other thing that I need to do is to, of course I can just type here low and high, and then I find out what the assessment is. However, to get this assessment, I'll be using some formula, the index formula to come here and pick if impact is low and likelihood is high, impact is low and likelihood is high, impact is low, it's there, likelihood high, so it should give me this medium. So it should pick this and place it there. And when it does that, it should also format it in the way that is shown in the risk criteria matrix. Now to aid our data entry, it's always good to place a drop down list here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to highlight these cells here and I go to data validation here and I'm say I want a list on those cells and I'm going to select my list from there. So once I do that, now my data entry can be quite fast because instead of typing, I'll just come here and give my different risks for each of those risks that we have here. Uh, likewise, and the likelihood, I can also give it allocate the different risks like so. Maybe this is medium, this is maybe high, and 
like so for a particular risk we come here what is the impact that this risk will occur if it is low we put low impact is normally assessed in monetary terms and likelihood is also is normally assessed in the probability what's the probability that this risk one will occur in our case we are saying it is low so if you want you can go further and define what low means medium means and high means but that's not for scope of this video okay now what we want to demonstrate is if it is low and low i want this one these two to go into my table here pick low pick low and return low like here i don't want to go typing one by one because of course you can do that but you, there is a better way and more efficient if you use excel formulas and in my case i'm going to use the index and match i'm going to combine those two formulas the index and match so to start off i'm going to say my index my index takes an array so where am i going to select the information i'm going to return it's h3 to j5 as i've selected here and it is always good to lock that range using function f4 because i'm gonna copy this down then the next argument is the row so if i say uh one and one i'll see i want to see what happens what happens is it returns zero so what what this means that in my array here uh row one is this first row and column one is this one here now what i've done here i've hard coded the one and one and it returned the zero so i don't want to go and hard code this i want it to be automatically uh, calculated by using an excel formula so the other formula that you can use is the match function because the match function will re return a position of a value that you give it and an array so to demonstrate how the match function that works instead of the one i'll go in and say match now let's find a match my lookup value my my lookup value i'm starting with the impact here so my lookup value will be the value in this cell here under impact then comma my lookup array i want to look up this low value from my impact here and my array is right here i want to look up for low under this array which is h2 to j5 this is where i look up my impact and i want to return low so i'm going to return the position now i also need to lock this because i need to copy my formula down function f4 does that work for me then comma my next argument is less than exact match i want an exact match i want low as low don't want anything else so i put exact match and i put my comma so when i enter you can see i return the same result now the next also is to make this row here for likelihood dynamic so again i can use the match function where my lookup array now will be under likelihood and where am i looking up this law i'm looking it up under here and then i'm fixing that because i'm going to copy my formula i'm looking for an exact match then i cross my brackets and say okay so what it does it goes looks for impact impact is low so it will be under this column then comes looks for likelihood likelihood which is also low under this row 
So where these two intercept is the value it returns. So it finds that it has low and returns low. Now, because we have put some conditional formatting here, so our answer is low. Now, after that, the rest is easy. I can just copy my formula down, control V, and automatically, without doing anything, you can see that my, my table is populated. Of course, you can go ahead and also put conditional formatting on these ones as well. So green, say okay, then come back here, uh, do your again your conditional formatting for these cells as well. So contains, let's do that as well to make it look nice. Now we are going to say medium and medium is yellow. And lastly, so we'll go in there and then we say hi, then say okay. So you see that it has formatted everything as high, high. So you can do that. So now this thing here is very dynamic. Next time I come here, my impact is low and my likelihood is medium. I change that. This one will be low. So let's change this to high. And you can see this one changes as well. So if I change this to low, this one goes to medium and it works fine. So it is very dynamic. The colors are changing once you have done all that. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have not subscribed, please hit the notification button if this video has been useful to you.